Do you think you can browse the web without internet connection? It sounds like a stupid question, but turns out you can. There's an interesting project going on called TextNet Browser, which is developed by a student, surprisingly, that uses SMS text to kind of show you information on screen. And based on the name you may have guessed, it also just shows text information, meaning that it doesn't load multimedia as much. But just for browsing text like Wikipedia or something, you can use it without internet connection. All you need is basic cellular network to send SMS. So that sounded pretty interesting. So I thought let's check it out. It's not available on Play Store yet. You have to download it from their GitHub page. I will leave a link in the description. So once you download and install the APK file, just provide some permissions to access your know, contacts and SMS and that's it. You should be good to go. You'll be presented with this page that has a few hyperlinks that gives you alternatives like a search engine alternative, a news option, a weather option, etc. But when I tried to browse any of them, it didn't seem to work. Like it kept on loading for some reason. I waited for a long time. I tried different links. SMS functionality was working on my phone so I couldn't figure out why it's not working. Maybe I thought it has to be set as a default SMS so I even did that from the options but that didn't work either. My arms were getting tired so I set this stand to kind of support myself. Don't worry I'm not flexing. These are actually giveaway units. That giveaway recently ended on the main channel so if you haven't been participating yet then subscribe because more things are coming soon. But anyway this did not work at all so I started to do some research. Apparently I missed this information which they did not exactly mention that it only works on US based cellular providers meaning that it's using a US toll free number to kind of send and receive SMS so they don't accept international numbers yet and I'm not from the US so I can't really access their services that kind of sucks but still I mean it's a useful thing to know that this thing exists the person who developed this they are still a student but it's still remarkably great you know it's a great initiative imagine you're stuck in a place or imagine you are going through a place in a journey where you have to urgently look up some information but you don't have a good internet connection so this will work in that case most places we now travel i have cellular networks but not all of those would probably have an internet or a working internet connection at least so being able to access at least text-based data is actually pretty useful i've never seen a more creative project like this come out in recent times so yeah props to them if you're in the us you should be able to use this service if not like me just keep an eye on this project because they are planning to set a local hosting in multiple countries that might allow more users to communicate with it internationally so that might be interesting. Either way, the links will be in the description. If you're interested, take a look.